I'm gonna show you now how to make something really uh, kind of cool for the kids. Some pecan waffles, but you can use any other kind of nut or no nuts if you want. Then I'm gonna show you how to take dry fruits and make a wonderful fruit compote that if you want to serve them with it or not, or other things. So here we go. First, the dry ingredients. Flour, ground pecans, baking powder, a pinch of salt, and sugar. Fun, fun, fun with the kids. I use a whisk, incorporated the dry, just like when we were doing the muffins. Dry there. Two eggs, milk. Then we'll take a little melted butter and vanilla. So let the kids help out. Then basically now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dry ingredients and we're going to start slowly whisking in the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients to make the waffle batter. Now, if you don't have a waffle iron, you can kind of do this like you would do pancakes on a griddle. Not quite the same effect, but you can do it. The uh, batter should not be too heavy. A lot of times what happens, they make waffle batters, and, you know, you could basically just stand that thing up in there, you know. So you don't want it that thick. It should be almost like a crepe batter. Okay, now, the next thing is to have your waffle iron, if you are going to use a waffle iron, the biggest mistake, heat, number one. Two, overfilling it. Three, you didn't lube this thing up. You saw it earlier. Use a little vegetable spray, or I like to use butter. You just rub it in there. But you see how shiny it is? It's lubed up. Now, generally when I make waffles, you can pretty much count on the first one being a disaster. <laughs> just the way it is. I don't know what it is. Let's see. We're going to add. Yeah. Don't overfill it. See, that's another thing. They overfill it, and then it's like. So. Up. Up. Now we're going to close it. Now, dry fruits. There's so many of them available out there. In health food stores, grocery stores, some have more sugar, some don't. I like to go right down the middle. So, I got oranges. I got a few apricots. I got bananas. I got blueberries, cranberries. Oh, cherries. All right, I mix them up like this. We got to bring them, sort of bring them back. So... First thing I do is this, bring them back, not boiling water, but hot water right over them. Sometimes what I'll even do is I'll take a little plastic wrap, cover it over it, let it steep in there, the steam, okay, and it comes back. It's coming back. It's coming <laughs> back. Now, after that, I like to flavor my compote, my fruit, my dry fruit compote. So how I do that, I take orange juice with a little H2O. I take sugar and some cinnamon, also some cinnamon sticks. And then shh, here's the big thing right here. You take a vanilla bean. Oh, yeah, babe. You take a vanilla bean. You split the vanilla bean. What a lot of people don't know is you got to split the pod. And then what you got to do, once you split the pod, this is where all the nice stuff is right here. See, that's the vanilla. Okay? It's not this, although this has a lot of flavor. It's this. So we're going to add that in there. Vanilla bean. Scrape it down. Put it in there. Now, that's great kid-friendly right there, okay? Now, 
If you want to kick it up a notch, you know, you're having one of those adult pajama parties or something like that, you know? That's when you get out the cognac. And you add a little bit of that in there, too. After you drain the, uh, the water that we put on the fruits when they came back, which is that, I don't uh, throw that out. That's some good yummies right there. But what I do do is take those fruits, and then I put them inside of that vanilla bean mixture. And then I let that cook with the juice and the orange and the... Oh, yeah, babe. Just let it cook a little bit. After about 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. And you've got an unbelievable fruit compote. That's great. Now, folks, look. Here's what you can do. You make a batch of this, get a couple of mason jars, sterilize them real good, put them inside of your mason jars, flip down the lid, stick them in the ice box. That would be the refrigerator. <laughs> and you got it all a week or two, okay? Want a little fruit compote? Bam. Want a little more? Bam. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're gonna check on the old waffles. <laughs> hey, the first ones came out. Oh, yeah. Nice. One of my favorite breakfast things to do. Little mimosa. Little eye-opener. So what we do is uh, just sort of twist the cap, the bottle. Just hold it there. Don't worry. Yeah. It's a long fly bow! <laughs> ah, yes. So, just to sort of make it a little different, I'm using a little blood orange. Mm. These are, like, just about in season right now. Well, they are in season. I have, I have some growing. Anyhow. <laughs> had to have been there. So... <laughs> so I use a little bit of that blood orange juice... Oh, yeah, babe. And then some bubbly. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> so now what we got here is we got our little... <laughs> Mimosa of blood orange. We set that up here. <laughs> Little flower. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> then I have some brown pecans. I also have some candied pecans, which are real good. So now we'll take a peek. They're happening. It's happening. It needs about another 20 seconds. But I got backup. <laughs> so, the way to put this all together, if you were going to sort of make it a complete sort of thing, is that I would um, I'd lay down some, some waffles. And I would take first a little bit of that Vermont maple syrup just because I kind of grew up with that. So just a little bit, not, not a lot. And we'll see if these guys are done. Oh. Then I would just take the fruit compote, just like right over that oh, sort of man. thing like that, oh. and a few of these, and a little bit of this, uh -huh. and there you have it, a little breakfast right there, okay? Yeah.